Ever find yourself with an extra $10,000 and wonder how you could turn it into more? This could be your reality. Welcome to our comprehensive guide to investing. We're diving deep into the world of investments, from low risk to high risk and everything in between. We'll help you navigate the sea of options available for your $10,000 capital. This isn't just about theory, we're talking practical, actionable advice that you can start implementing today. We'll be providing a detailed breakdown of investment strategies tailored to the amount you have on hand. Our suggestions aren't pulled out of thin air, they're backed by financial experts with years of experience in the field. Whether you're a seasoned investor or a complete newbie, this guide is designed to help you make informed decisions about where to put your money. Ready to discover the best investment options for your $10,000? Then keep watching. Starting off with low risk, low return investments, these are perfect for the cautious investor. These types of investments are the financial equivalent of a tortoise in a race. They may not sprint ahead, but they offer steady progress, helping you to build a secure financial future with minimal risks. First off, let's talk about savings accounts. They're simple, straightforward, and secure. Your money sits in the account, earning a small amount of interest over time. The returns aren't extravagant, but the risk is virtually non-existent, making it a suitable option for those who prefer playing it safe. Next up, we have certificates of deposit, often referred to as CDs. When you buy a CD, you're essentially lending your money to the bank for a predetermined period. In return, the bank pays you interest. The longer the term of the CD, the higher the interest rate. It's a low-risk way to earn a bit more than what a regular savings account offers. Then we have money market accounts. These are like souped-up savings accounts, offering higher interest rates in exchange for higher minimum balance requirements. They also allow limited check-writing privileges, a feature not commonly found in regular savings accounts or CDs. Moving on to Treasury securities, these are bonds issued by the US government. They're considered one of the safest investments in the world because they're backed by the full faith and credit of the US government. You can buy them in various maturities from a few months to 30 years. The return isn't as high as other investments, but the risk is virtually zero making them a solid choice for conservative investors. Last but certainly not least, we have corporate bonds. When you buy a corporate bond, you're lending money to a corporation. In return, the corporation promises to pay you interest and return the principal at maturity. The risk and return vary depending on the company's creditworthiness, but overall, corporate bonds are considered a low-risk investment. Each of these low-risk investment options has its own set of pros and cons, Savings accounts and money market accounts offer high liquidity, meaning you can access your money whenever you need it. CDs on the other hand, lock your money away for a certain period but offer a higher return. Treasury securities are extremely safe but offer a lower return, while corporate bonds offer a higher return but come with a slightly higher risk. The key is to choose the investment option that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. It's all about finding the balance that works for you. While low-risk investments might not make you a millionaire overnight, they offer a level of security that's hard to beat. They provide a steady, reliable return, allowing you to sleep soundly at night knowing that your money is safe and steadily growing. Feeling a bit more adventurous? Let's explore medium-risk, medium-return investments. These are the kind of investments that might make your heart beat a little faster but not enough to keep you up all night. They offer a balance between risk and reward that many investors find appealing. First up, we have real estate. Real estate investing involves buying property with the intention of generating a return on investment either through rental income, the future resale of the property, or both. However, it's not as simple as buying a house and waiting for the money to roll in. You need to consider factors such as location, market trends, and the cost of maintaining the property. The returns can be substantial, but so can the losses if you don't do your homework. Next, we delve into the world of peer-to-peer -peer lending. This is a relatively new investment option where you lend money to individuals or small businesses in return for interest. You're basically playing the role of a bank. Online platforms make it easy to connect with borrowers and diversify your investments across a range of loans. The potential returns can be higher than traditional savings accounts or bonds, but there's also a greater risk. If the borrower defaults, you could lose your investment. Then there's the world of index funds. An index fund is a type of mutual fund or exchange-traded fund with a portfolio constructed to match or track the components of a financial market index, such as the Standard & AMP, Poor's 500 Index, S&P 500. 
These funds offer broad market exposure, low operating expenses, and low portfolio turnover. They provide a way to invest in the stock market that is passive but still has the potential for a decent return. However, like all stock market investments, they come with a level of risk. If the market goes down, so does the value of your fund. Now remember, these are just some examples of medium risk, medium return investments. There are many other options out there, each with its own set of risks and rewards. It's important to remember that all investments come with a level of risk. The key is to understand that risk, and make sure it aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. So, is medium risk, medium return right for you? Well, if you're looking for a potential step up from low-risk investments but aren't quite ready to play in the high-risk arena, these could be a good fit. They offer the potential for higher returns than low-risk investments, but without the sleepless nights of high-risk ones. With medium-risk investments, you're taking on a bit more risk, but also increasing your potential for higher returns. As always, it's about finding that balance that works best for you. And remember, no matter what type of investor you are, the key is to stay informed, stay diversified, and stay the course. And for those who like to live on the edge, we have high-risk, high-return investments. Now let's delve into the world of high-risk, high-return investments. These are the type of investments that can make your heart race, not for the faint-hearted but for those with a taste for the exhilarating. They can bring substantial rewards but remember they also come with significant risks. First up we have stocks. Stocks are shares in a company. When you buy a stock you're essentially buying a piece of that company. You're betting on the company's success. If the company does well, your stock increases in value and you can sell it for a profit. However, if the company doesn't do well, the value of your stock decreases. Stocks are considered high risk because their value can fluctuate wildly from day to day. But with that risk comes the potential for high returns. Next we have cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for security. They're decentralized, meaning they're not controlled by any government or central authority. Like stocks, the value of cryptocurrencies can fluctuate wildly, making them a high-risk investment. But if you had bought Bitcoin in its early days, you'd be a millionaire today. So the potential return is undeniably high. Lastly, we have venture capital. This is where you invest in a startup or small company with the potential for explosive growth. The hope is that the company will become a major player in its industry and your investment will skyrocket in value. But the reality is that most startups fail and your investment could become worthless. Still, if you bet on the right horse, the returns can be astronomical. So how do these high-risk, high-return investments work? Well, it's all about risk tolerance. If you're willing to take on more risk, you have the potential for higher returns, but you also have the potential for greater losses. It's like playing poker. You can go all in, and if you have the winning hand, you'll rake in the chips. But if you don't, you can lose everything. The potential returns for these investments can be substantial. We're talking about doubling, tripling, or even quadrupling your initial investment. But these investments are not for everyone. They require a high level of knowledge and understanding, a willingness to take on risk, and the financial ability to absorb losses. So, are you ready to take the plunge? Are you ready to embrace risk in the pursuit of higher returns? If so, high-risk, high-return investments might be the right choice for you. But remember, it's essential to do your research, understand the risks, and make informed decisions. High-risk investments can bring substantial rewards, but remember, they also come with significant risks. Now that we've covered the spectrum of investments, let's talk about a strategy that can balance out your risks and returns diversification. Diversification, in the realm of investments, is akin to the old adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's a risk management strategy that involves spreading your investments across various assets, sectors, or geographies. The concept is straightforward, but its benefits are manifold. Firstly, diversification helps to mitigate risk. Investing all your funds in a single asset or sector can be akin to a high-stakes gamble. If that asset or sector takes a hit, your entire portfolio suffers. But by spreading your investments across a broad spectrum, you're less likely to lose all your funds if one area performs poorly. Imagine it as a safety net, cushioning your fall should one investment stumble. Secondly, diversification can help increase potential returns. Different assets, sectors or regions often perform differently at different times. By diversifying, you stand a chance to benefit from the top performers, while the underperformers are balanced out. This way you're not relying on a single winner to drive your returns but rather, you're creating an ensemble of investments that work together to build your wealth. 
Lastly, diversification can provide a degree of emotional comfort. Investing can be a roller coaster ride with the potential for high highs and low lows. By diversifying your portfolio, you can smooth out this ride, helping to maintain your peace of mind in the face of market volatility. Remember, diversification doesn't guarantee profits or protect against all losses, but it does provide a sensible approach to manage risk and potentially enhance returns over the long term. It's a strategy that encourages a wide view, a broad perspective and a long-term vision. Diversification is the spice of investment life, offering you a balanced portfolio that can weather market fluctuations. So don't be afraid to spread your wings and diversify your investments. After all, variety is not just the spice of life but also the heart of a robust investment strategy. So, there you have it. A comprehensive guide to investing your $10,000. We've journeyed through a vast landscape of investment options, each with its own unique terrain of risks and returns. Let's take a moment to revisit these territories and reinforce our understanding of them. Our journey began in the realm of low-risk, low-return investments. Here we encountered the reliable and steady world of savings accounts, government bonds and certificates of deposit. These are the safe harbors where your money can grow slowly but surely, with minimal risk. It's the slow and steady race where you can sleep soundly, knowing your investment is secure. Next, we ventured into the territory of medium risk, medium return investments. A slightly wilder terrain, but with the potential for greater rewards. Here we met mutual funds, real estate and peer-to-peer -peer lending. These options offer a balanced mix of risk and reward. They demand a bit more attention and knowledge but can yield more substantial returns. Our journey then took us to the high-risk, high-return investments. This is the land of stocks, cryptocurrencies, and venture capital. It's not for the faint of heart but for those who can stomach the volatility, the potential rewards are high. However it's crucial to remember that with the possibility of high returns comes the risk of significant losses. It's a thrilling ride but one that should be taken with caution and due diligence. We also explored the concept of diversification. This is the strategy of spreading your investments across a variety of assets to minimize risk and maximize potential returns. It's like casting a wide net, hoping to catch a variety of fish rather than putting all your bait in one spot. It's a smart approach that can help safeguard your portfolio against the unpredictable waves of the market. However, as we've journeyed through these investment landscapes, one crucial point has been our constant companion. The importance of careful research and consideration before making any investment decisions. The world of investing can be complex and unpredictable. It's essential to arm yourself with knowledge and understanding to navigate it successfully. Investing is a journey, not a race. It's about making informed decisions, staying committed, and being patient. It's about understanding that success doesn't come overnight, but over time. It's about recognizing that every investment, no matter how small or large, is a step towards your financial goals. So take your time, do your research, understand your risk tolerance and financial goals. And most importantly, don't be afraid to ask for help or seek advice. Remember, investing is a journey, not a race. Make informed decisions, stay committed, and the results will follow. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more investment advice. Until next time, happy investing!